Would you eat that? No. <laughs> but you know what? what? Fish love worm. Evan O'Neill, a lifelong angler and a father, ventures out fishing with his three-year-old daughter, Maureen, and her baby sister. Oh, I don't think you're ever too young to go fishing. To call it fishing may be overly optimistic. Oh, did you see that fish jump out there? But O'Neill hopes trips like this will lay the foundation for a lifetime of fishing. Put the rod with your left hand and reel with your right. It's just a matter of getting her out and getting her familiar with the equipment and the experience a little bit, and then as she gets older, she'll She'll be easier to teach. But patience and a little kid sense makes the day a success. You want to keep it simple, and you've got to have minimal expectations. Are you giving daddy raisins? And you got to have good snacks. Oh. An absolute must. At the top of O'Neill's list is where to go. Pick a place that's easy to get to, close to home. As it turns out, location is as important for parents as it is for kids. One of the things we know about families and fishing is that the uh, the biggest hurdle that people have to overcome uh, is time and uh, finding places that are close to home, easy to get to, uh, and where it's simple to go fishing is important. Idaho Fishing Games answer, family fishing waters. They have very simple fishing regulations, there's no gear restrictions, and the kids have a high chance of uh, catching a few fish. Special brochures point the way to more than 80 such waters across the state, places where families can catch memories while catching fish. Michelle Hicks. Say bye fish. Bye fish. Idaho Fishing Game.